So who's gonna win the stage? That's the question. It's a flat stage, or they classify it as a flat stage, but this category 3 can mess it up. Who knows? All the big sprinters are all gone. This is the time where the second best sprinters are gonna show up. Is it gonna be Peter Sagan? Is it gonna be Mearsman? Is it gonna be Bookmans? Is it gonna be Tom Bone? I think, to be honest, it's gonna be between Tom Bone and Peter Sagan. If it ends in a mass sprint, who knows? It might just end with a breakaway. Or, some old scientists can make it two in a row and go again. It's, it, the stage look exactly like this one last stage, so it's a possibility, who knows. Sky wants his peloton to be kept together for this intermediate sprint. I don't, I still don't get it because Tom Bone is nowhere near top place, but it's money in the pocket and who would say no. Let's see, oh Johnny Hugelin actually attacks, he wants to get this. He attacks, he wants to get the breakaway, but he chose the worst po possible time to take a breakaway. Is this time leading? Is it, is it growing or decreasing? I think it is decreasing. Slowly but surely. Is he gonna sprint for this? I don't think so. So he's gonna get overtaken by Tom Bone. Where's Peter Sargon? I don't think Peter Sargon is going for this. Tom Bone is one man only going for this thing. That's kind of... That's that's funny. And then Gino Mies, man. The lead up man just gets second place. Oh! Now Jens Fuck goes on to the attack. Jens Fuck wants to get away. Can he get away? Yeah, but it seems like they're gonna let him go. Anyone else gonna attack and help him? Nope, it's gonna be a solo attack. The console versus the world. It's gonna be exciting to see if Jens Fugt is gonna go the way and win the stage. It's a possibility, but who knows. This stage and the stage before it looks so much alike. There's a breakaway in a way, and 82R will not let them get more than 3 minutes. It's kinda sad, but yeah, it seems like this today it's Nibali's chance to get away in that little break in the end. Let's take a look at it. It's not that steep, it doesn't look that bad, but it's a mountain. Who knows, anything can happen. So, they're nearing this next intermediate sprint, and is Tom Bone gonna go for it again? Because I don't get it, like, to me it makes no sense, how much money does he gain? He gains a good thousand bucks, but still. Or actually, now he's gonna get second place, so he gets 600 euros. But still, that's nothing compared to like a state victory, and they actually use some money on this, so, who knows? It's Sky, they all like money, admit it, we know. But 15 kilometers left, are they starting to increase the speed in the peloton? It doesn't seem like it. They're just riding along. Oh, now they start setting guys in the front. Sergio Hanara is sitting pretty nice in the front. Three kilometers left to this intermediate sprint. Now Gino Mearsman is going with Bone on this wheel. Two kilometers left to this intermediate sprint. On the left side, Edong Antonio is setting a higher pace. And nowhere to, nowhere to see... Where is Peter Sarkin? Is he still in the race? Peter Sarkin is on us tonight. Yep, he is. He's sitting on the way back. He doesn't care. And we don't want to see... Oh, Tom Bone is going for the... And he got it. And third place got Carlos Bentancourt. So... He got 16 points. Yeah, I think he got 16 points. Let's see how that ranks up. Tom Bone. It doesn't help at all, but at least he's optimistic. He wants to get it. A bird to cut the door suffered a puncture. Look at this entire team coming down to help him. The entire team came down. What the heck? A bird to cut the door suffered a puncture, and immediately his team came down to help him, and now he's up in the peloton again. It seems like the peloton just slowed down when they saw he had a puncture. That's nice ethics by the entire peloton, just to slow down and realize the race leader is behind the peloton. Just slow down and let him get it. But now he's towards back in the front, keeping the 3 minute lead to Jens Vogt. It seems like Jens Vogt is probably the biggest favorite right now, unless the break goes down. And yeah, no, uh, it's really tough to say right now, because his lead is... Laying around three minutes, but it's not really going anywhere, but it's not really gaining anywhere, anything anyway. So, by 20 kilometers left, we'll definitely have an answer, for sure, I think. It seems like Jens fucked. Oh, now the peloton's up in the pace. Sky wants to win this. Tom Bone is really wanting to win this. They want to win something. Let's see. Two minutes, and then... Together with Astana, they're setting a pace, so it seems like Peter Sagan's got good legs, too. And who's on Lotto Belly Sol? I have no clue. I think Dingle Cup is out, so, yeah, that eliminates that. Are anyone gonna go for this mountain points? Or is anyone gonna attack? Well, Jorge Marie is sitting good. Luis Lone Sanchez is helping up in the front. Cazador is sitting good. Even though he had a puncture, he seems ready. But I don't think any fire fireworks will happen today. So it's all gonna be in a mass sprint. And Jens Fuck doesn't have enough time to get away right now. With 20 kilometers left, I'll tell you we could see how he's, how he's doing. And he's only got one and a half minute. I'm sorry, but that's not enough. You need to have around two minutes around 20 kilometers mark. So thumb rule. One minute is 10 kilometers. Let's see. Now the sprinter train should start to happen. They should start setting him up. I see Tom Bone in front. I see Elbos and Hagen over here with Peter Sagan on his wheel. Alberto Cotador is sitting in the front just making sure nothing happens to him again. Which would be terrible if he had to suffer. Ooh. 
Thomas to get his sovereign to follow the peloton. Oh, he actually attacked! No, wait, what the heck? Why did they show that? Never mind, never mind. Okay, where is he? Yes, Chris Buckman's getting ready to sprint. It's gonna be exciting to see these small riders sprint. Tom Bone is sitting here with Level Boss Nine on his wheel, plus he also has Peter Sagan on his wheel. That's not optimal for him. Let's see, Kanger is sitting over here. He's probably not gonna sprint. He's just sitting up there in case anything happens. Five kilometers, six and a half kilometers left. It's gonna be exciting to see in the end. Right now, Michael Merkel is sitting a nice pace with the rest of the ATR uh, Astana guys. Oh, who's this? Gustav Larsen, the time trials guy. Now the the penalty just slowed down. Let's see, now the time for the leader trains to get in the front. Sky's probably got a really good leader turn right now, full shield bad helping. Who is the sprinter for this? Daniel Benanti is a lot of belly salt sprinter. This is gonna be intense, this is gonna be a really fast finish. Let's get ready, take a deep breath and watch this unfold. Okay, right now it's Aston vs. Sky vs. Lotto Belly Sol. Joker Rodriguez is up there too. On the outside of Abos Nari is the first half to start sprinting. Jürgen Rolls is sprinting for his teammate. Jeremy Messman hasn't started sprinting yet. Tom Bowden hasn't started sprinting yet. Evel Bos Nari is still going fast with Jürgen Rolls on his side. It's gonna be between the Norwegian guys and the Belgian guys. Now Peter Sagan goes. It, no, wait, he's. Uh, there he goes. With Alejandro Valverde on his wheel. Daniel Bernard is getting ready to go. Alejandro Valverde is going, but in the front Peter Sagan is going even faster. It seems like Peter Sagan is gonna win the stage with Daniel Bernard second. Alejandro Valverde third and Tom Bowden fourth. And although Ilya Viviani just got nothing on that one. Look at that white guy. But Peter Sagan won. Congratulations to Astana for the victory to them. Ilya Viviani got 7th. Eva Bosnagan gets 10th. And Tom Bone got 3rd. He is it's just not his... Not his shearer it seems like. He's not doing too good. So, but P Peter Sagan won from Della Bilanti, Tom Bone, Alejandro Valverde, Chris Bogmans, Kenny Van Hommel, Pretty good from Blanco, Eva Viviani, Luis Leon Sanchez, he actually sprinted from AG Tour with Gino Miesman and Evel Boston Hagen from Astana. That was an intense sprint. Nothing changed in the overall classification. It's gonna be exciting tomorrow to see how this is gonna change because that's gonna be an exciting stage. And the points classification. Peter Sagan is catching Contador. Only 13 points up to Contador. But I think that's his last stage win off this year, should this year to Italia. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. I'm sorry to break it to you. AJ Tour is doing pretty good in the mountains classification. What about the best young rider? Verkan Soleil has got his dad in the bag with T-Bob Pino. I don't think TJ Van Garden is going to be able to catch those five minutes. Thank you guys for watching this stage. See you guys in the next.